something that kind of gets overlooked in a lot of home networks and home labs and and something i'm quite guilty of myself and that's network monitoring i almost never set it up i used to just to to get my skill set up i used to use nagios that's quite heavy duty and it's a little bit too much for what i need so i've been uh, looking at alternatives recently i'd love something like uptime kuma but my server doesn't run docker once i've got my home lab and it the server is in the right place and it's running uh, proxmox i will set up some docker containers and i'll have uptime kuma running what is going on with my glasses speck of dirt right smack bang in the middle that's better in the meantime i'm gonna look at something else that what i've been looking at is isinga 2 now this may well be overkill for what i want as well but uh we'll, we'll give it a go and, and and see what it's like so let's dive in and, and and see what what we can do with it okay so i am logged into my server my remote server that i wanted to set up some monitoring on so let's get it installed and, and see what it's like whether it's something i can configure or whether i should just install nagios so let's just go to our user ports directory and git call it so it's nice and fresh everything's up to date there we go clear that and then we're going to go user ports isinga oh no we're not going to do that so user ports net management isinga 2 and make let's see what it does oh look at that it uses nagios plugins that's interesting okay let's do it this may take a minute Needs me coffee. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So here's the options for the plugins. Let's, yeah, let's get a few of these. Okay. Yeah, why not? It's building a lot, which is fine. Don't mind that. Okay, that's built. Let's install it. Clean. It's good practice to do that. Okay, so we have got it installed. Wonder where it's installed it to. There it is. Just couldn't see it. So I I know literally nothing about this product. So we'll just go through the files and have a look. I assume that there's a startup script. Yeah, there it is. So let's try starting it as it is. Because it will tell me what to set in the rc.com. We'll go pop it in here. Well, it's running. <laughs> so let's go through these files. So constants. So yeah, it's using Nagios plugins. By the looks of it. Okay. Include zones. Features enabled. Right. Let's look at zones. So can I put local host in here? And then just comment this out. Just don't want any satellites. Change that. Interesting that it's got it twice. There must be a reason for that. Yeah, there is more than one zone. Okay, so that's our zone set. Hopefully that's fine. Let's go into the comp directory. Lots of stuff here. Let's have a look at the app. Objects, yeah. Commands, okay. Downtimes, groups, okay. Hosts. Let's have a look at the hosts. Okay, right here. Notifications. Services. Ping 4, ping 6, SSH, HTTP, and disks. It's monitoring itself, that's always interesting. Templates which we'll configure in a little while right yo okay do it didn't look at time periods fair enough all right okay so let's restart it okay that's good 
what else we got in here features available okay features enabled oh that's good it just links to the other one that's pretty cool have a look at the scripts mail hosts notification mail service notification yeah cool and then go to zones so have a look in there read me please check documentation yeah okay so it is configured question is where is it running okay www so i'm assuming that i then need to set up nginx to be able to serve that there we go so we just need to find where the public web services are so let's go user local www let's have a look in here that's interesting right so it hasn't put it in there then all right i wonder where it's put it well it's not there interesting all right interesting where has it put it where is the data to my single web too so where is my single web i think i need to install that It'd be lovely if it tells you that you need that but it's fine oh it's adding in some php modules 8.2 ah why is it using 8.2 because my default is set at 8.2 i thought i had 8.3 no it is 8.2 all right maybe that's right then it is 8.2. All right, okay. Try again. I could have sworn I had PHP 8.3. Really could. It is 8.2. Well, there you go. You learn something every day. Okay, let's install that. Oh, soap and OP cache. I've had problems with those modules in PHP. Uh, seems to have been all right this time, though. So where have we installed it this time? Use that local www. I bet it's in there now. There it is. So apparently there is this. So set up config web server engine X. Okay. Yeah, this is new to me. Config user local etc. Okay, is that it then? Ah, there it is. Right. Okay, gotcha. Now, there's nothing in it, but that's where it is. And then the FPM URI, and that's easily found out. Okay, it's using a SOP. Does that matter? Here we go. So if I pop this into one of my configurations, let's try it, shall we? Let's see what happens. Let's make sure we've got that copied. Right. Ooh. So we want user, local, etc, nginx. Oh, now that's interesting. That's running PHP 8.1. Why is that? Anyway, let's get it in there. So we want it after that, I think. Let's paste it in there. Uh, very clever. It's using the right one. Now, I know why it's doing that, because when I've upgraded, instead of updating the configuration, I've just left it. <laughs> right, OK. So it should be accessible now. Let's restart Nginx. Probably complain. No, it didn't. Excellent. Uh, right, so let's go not found. Oh dear, why not not found? What am I missing? That doesn't make much sense. It should be running fine. Unless I've got a path from somehow. CD user local www I see Inga web 2 public. And it's saying, what was it saying? Not found. All right, well, let's check the log for that, shall we? It's not found. Right, okay. Definitely not found. PHP message. PHP warning. Undefined array key host in... Oh, that's WordPress. Okay. I should, really should rotate these logs, but I'm just going to call it monitor. And that's not found either. Right, we're going to leave it there because I need to obviously look into this. I'm not really sure why it's doing that. If anyone has any ideas, please do drop a comment and tell me because that's a bit strange. It's there. Let me know. Video that ends in failure. Maybe I'll just look at Nagios again. Unless anyone's using this and can tell me what it is going wrong, please do. If not, feel free to jump into Discord and, and say hello. That's put me on a bit of a downer. Never mind. See you in the next video, everyone.